Exploring It All. I'm Rockers Girl. Join me and my dad while we explore subscription boxes, the outdoors, gear and equipment, and other fun things and places. Before we get started, hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Ding! Thank you for watching! Well, thank you for that amazing introduction, Miraculous Girl, and thank you everyone for joining us again here on Exploring It All. As you can see, today we have a knife. This knife is called the Honey Badger. I forget where I saw this knife. I think I ordered this off of Amazon. I know it was under $50, might have been around $30. Um, sorry for the um. I believe I may have saw one of these on Doc P's channel and I thought, hey, you know, that's a cool knife. I don't, I don't have any knives called a honey badger and I, I just wanted to get it, so I did. Anyway, so let's take a look at this one. It has a magnetic box, that's cool. And don't eat that. We have honey badger, don't care. Product information and warranty guide. And this is the HB 1012 FM tan. And it's made in China, it says right there. So I have a Honey Badger sticker, so that's cool. Honey Badger sticker. Hold it so you guys can actually see it. There you go, Honey Badger. And it comes with a hex wrench, so I'm assuming, let's move this out of the way. Oh, and different knife styles right here. All kinds of different knife styles. How awesome is that? Yeah. About your honey badger knife. Congratulations on your purchase. Care and maintenance. Proudly designed in South Africa. Okay, that's interesting. Designed in South Africa. And these scales, does it say here? I think they're, uh, FHM, you know, the reinforced fiberglass nylon stuff. I mean, it feels very plasticky, very lightweight. You can see, well, I don't know if you guys can or not, but in the middle here, it says honey badger, and it has the little honey badger on this, and then you have the same little honey badger kind of engraved into the blade so that's cool this is a liner lock see it right in there you got jimping on the back that you know it's really thick here on the end the pocket clip appears to be reversible yeah i would say it is it is reversible it is reversible but it is a tip up carry so you go down in your pocket and the tip is up <laughs> we had that discussion in our battle box spoiler group and if you guys don't know uh, I run a Facebook group we have close to 4,000 members on it that it's called the battle box spoiler page of more but we do a lot more than just battle box that's just where it was started at now there is jimping well first of all if you look in on this and especially for a liner lock knife it is very centered you can see that point goes right down into the middle there and it's really easy to tell because you don't have the black. you know I get these knives that have black scales and black blade and you can't see anything you do have kind of a spacer in here and this has jimping on it as well and there's even jimping on the back of the plastic back here and on this part of the flipper here, you got a nice hole in here. So anyway, let's let's give this a little flip and, and see where we're at. I have never flipped this knife open. So let's see where it goes. I'm almost nervous. Oh, you know, and there's a spot in here for your thumb too. I like that. Okay, it didn't flip really, really fast. I mean, I'm no expert. But 
Wow, okay, this is pretty cool. I, you know, when I picked out which one I was gonna get, there was a few options on Amazon. I, I, it's been a while and I don't remember. So, I really like the way this fits in my hand. You got this cutout right here, and this little spot here is a natural spot for your thumb to land, although you do have some jimping up here. And it's really crazy because you got this troil right here, which is all jimped as well, just under the blade. You got to be careful because the tip of the blade, the cutting edge, really goes right up to the edge of that of that jimping. But you got that, so you can really pinch up on this knife right there as far as that. Now, right here on the side of the blade, you got 8CR13 MOV, so it is not the... Uh, you know, VG10 steel or whatever. It's it's one of the, I'm gonna call it, um, affordable, budget, budget, EDC steels, budget steel. But this wasn't an excessively expensive knife. You know, uh, let's flip it a couple more times, no, oh. I, you know, one thing I have to say, you know, your lock is real good. <laughs> the liner lock flips right over there. And be, this is cut out. This edge is cut out a little bit lower than this side. So it's real easy to unlock that. I like that. Because sometimes it actually hurts sometimes to unlock some of these other liner locks. Now, <laughs> I just don't know enough to tell you what this is flipping on here. But... It's already flipping faster than it was on my first flip. And you can flip it with your thumb. You can probably, I'm no expert on that style of flip. I have to throw in some wrist to do it with the finger right there. Man. All right, that's a cool little knife. I like it. I'm going to test. I got some. I'm going to move this out of the way here. I kind of like this knife. It's cool. Um, I got some paracord. All right, so I got some paracord here, and we will give this a couple of quick slice and dice type tests. I kind of do it two ways myself. I don't know if there's no right or wrong, but I like to do a push through slice. Kind of kept slipping on that. Is there oil on this? The tip part kind of pushed right through. Let's do a pull back slice. <laughs> wow, I wasn't even trying on that. I didn't even think I had it in there. Wow. All right, so now we'll do just kind of a straight push through that sharp. Wow, so that's pretty sharp. Um, and we'll do a quick, quick paper test on it. That's me. You know, it's you start doing this and you just don't want to stop. Man, it's sharp. I can't say anything else. It is sharp. It's it is a nice knife. That is the honey badger. I got all kinds of marks on this thing, you know. That is the honey badger. I like it. I think it's a cool looking little knife. I specifically ordered this. Like I know it was under fifty dollars. It might have been around thirty dollars, something like that. Great little knife, Honey Badger. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, and remember, be nice to each other.